Hi guys, thanks for watching. Been a long time since I did a woodwork video, so I thought I would do some handy household hints on uh, sandpapering and uh, Hermes abrasives in particular, which uh, tend to be the ones I use simply because they're, they're very, very good indeed. This is a quilted sycamore bowl. I turned it green. Uh, it's dried out for quite a long time. It's bone dry now, a little bit too dry. So when I did the final shaping, I got left with marks on the inside, which are kind of difficult to pick out on camera but they, they go pretty much right the way around it and uh, this has been a real difficult bowl I have been using another Hermes kind of abrasive uh, which is this Hermes PSF uh, that's the 400 grit it comes in various sizes I start on that one with the 120 grit because it cuts like 80 grit it really does but it doesn't leave the same marks it's brilliant uh, but I spent nearly a week and I, I really can't get the marks to show properly but basically I cleaned on the inside of the bowl right from here round to about here and that took me a whole week with uh, with that so I was digging around in my stuff and I found some of this this is brilliant this is Hermes again so I'm sure Hermes won't mind because I'm comparing two of their products and uh, this is what it looks like on the back Hermes RB406 J Flex it's cloth backed you can use it on the lathe um, it's really good like that and it just doesn't wear out it's amazing uh, I've had that bit for probably about six seven years now uh, since just about the time it first came out and uh, it really doesn't wear out here's the bit I've been using this morning now if I rub my finger across a bit that hasn't been used it's nice and rough and serviceable and if I rub my finger across a bit that has been used that's nice and still serviceable and fine as well. It doesn't seem to clog. It was developed for the metalwork industry, but it's a brilliant, brilliant wood turning abrasive. And just this morning, after that week it's taken, I've done a bit of rubbing on the inside, and I've actually got through in a couple of places. Um, I don't think it's going to take me too much longer using J-Flex, but you see, right, the tree, I don't know if you can see, maybe I'll tilt it, yeah, just about make out the grain there. The tree grows up that way, so when we're sanding the bottom, or the outside of the back along the grain that's as if we were sanding the plank with the grain if this was a plank that's what we'd be doing nice and smooth but when we come up around the corners into the sides of a bowl part of it is straight grained and another part of it is kind of where the you know it's the other end that's the end grain that's the expression I'm looking for and it's much much harder to uh, deal with the end grain it's just because it's cross-cut sanding and it takes a lot longer quite difficult but it's been a lot easier with the RB406 J Flex and much as I recommend the PSF paper I'll show you it again uh, th this kind of thing it's great it takes a long time to clog it cuts very quickly and it leaves a beautiful finish but it is nothing like as quick as Hermes RB406 J Flex, so that's my top tip. Okay, hopefully soon I'll get the tripod out and I'll have something that's got enough memory to make a nice long video for you. But I didn't want to leave you with nothing. Thanks everyone who's watched my videos. Uh, I know a lot of my new subscribers probably aren't here for the woodwork, but I don't really know. It is the way YouTube functions, I can't tell. But uh, I know a lot of you do watch the woodwork, so thanks very much for that. More videos coming. I'm kind of back on the horse. I'm back on the chain gang as the song went. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.